All right, Mr. Teleferro TV. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this man on the screen for the entire video. We're just gonna flow back between seven, eight pictures. And y'all deserve, let me make this clear. Y'all deserve better edits than this. Let me make this clear. But I wanna do something different today because this man, we won't talk about this man on my channel anymore. But this man deserves the credit for everything that he's gonna get in this video. It's a very long video. Um, enjoy yourself. There are some good elements to it. Steph Curry, P. Diddy, Colin Kaepernick, but just enjoy this video. We're gonna give this man the credit he deserves for being stupid today, and um, we're gonna hold him up for the entire video. Let me tell you guys what pisses me off, right? We're talking about qualifications here. Qualifications for a job, right? Um, let's just put out this in the, in the atmosphere. Diddy. Diddy is worth over like 830, 840 million dollars. Does that make him qualified to be the Carolina Panthers owner? No, it does not, right? But we're gonna play this game with you guys. So, so the story came out, Diddy came out and he put a video up on his social media yesterday. And he was like, yo, the owner of the Carolina Panthers, Jerry Richardson is stepping down, right? Okay, let's roll with that. You, Cause I, I watched this little clip from, on Shade Room from Daria Folsom, who was like, uh, her and, and some guy were joking about Diddy not being qualified to be owner of the Carolina Panthers. The guy, and I wish I could get his name. He was like, I want to say his name's Gary or something like that. They, he was like, all Diddy does, all it looks like he does is smoke weed and drink. Well, the brothers made eight hundred thirty million dollars over his life. But okay, let's roll with let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. Let's roll with that. He, that's all he does is smoke weed and drink. Uh, that's all he does with his time. We'll, we'll roll with that. Go ahead, right? Even though that's completely asinine. The owner of the Carolina Panthers, do you guys know why he's stepping down? This, what is he, this upwards, what, over 70, over 80 year old white man, Jerry Richardson? He's stepping down for sexual misconduct allegations. And there are allegations um, for anywhere from touching women inappropriately in the workplace and obviously getting away with it for a long time because he's an owner and he's white and also using racial slurs to players. We've seen the Donald Sterling situation with the Los Angeles Clippers play out. We know that how that could be evasive and um, just a ridiculous place for a guy that's technically his position is the owner. We gotta get rid of that, that title owner, right? So we already know what the problems that, that, can, that can cause. And the thing that hurts me the most, Jared Richardson came out and sold the team. He said, I'm gonna sell the team. Not even denying not even denying the stuff that was that, that these people have accused him of. Just said this is not one of the best days in his life. Not even denying, right? Okay, all right. So let's go back to that man, and I wish I could find his name, but he was on Daria Fals Falsam show, and she was clowning P. Diddy as well, right along with her. Right along with this clown, whoever it was. Okay, all right. You said Diddy's not an owner, or he shouldn't be an owner because all he does is smoke and drink all day. That's what you two said. Well, hell, I'll take a smoker and drinker before I take, I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of you people thinking that you're a good business owner if you were given money to start with, right? Or you're a good person because all these owners in the NFL and in, hell, most in the NBA, all these people are just hand-me-downs of, of their boss's money or their dad's money, whatever it is. All these owners just came in, this, in the game with money and they've been around business all their life, so it was an easy transition for them. Let's make it clear, there ain't a lot of people working from the ground up, being the first generation to make something happen, to make some shake, to put some big numbers on the board, and then go after ownership. So, and I think Diddy's the first of, of, of his era, of his family, to be the guy. He did, he worked what he needed, he did his stuff from the ground up. And I take a brother who made it from the ground up, who can actually relate to players, over this white owner who could who probably never played a down of football in his life probably never worked out a day in his life hell his fat ass probably never got off a couch or got out of his seat or whatever the hell he got his office in the building that he probably owned pretty much i'd rather have me a quote unquote black guy who smokes and drinks all day but somewhere in the meantime made 830 million dollars right? matter of fact let's just keep it a stack if I could make $830 million and I could quote unquote smoke and drink all day, you think I'd be sitting there making videos? I probably would because I love this. But still, let's make it clear. There's a privilege thing going on in this country. 
And for some reason, we we categorize success and we relate success with these owners because they got hand-me-downs of money from the dad who left them 10, 20 million, whatever it is to start up a business, 40, 50 million, or hell was the owner of the team and was able to pass it down. I don't know why we do that. Hell, if all these owners knew what the hell they were doing, there'll be more teams winning Super Bowls and New England wouldn't be dominating a decade. There'll be more teams winning NBA championships outside of the teams led by a guy named LeBron James and or the Golden State Warriors. There'll be more organizations winning if everybody knew what the hell they were doing in sports. What the hell are we even talking about here? You want, you, you clowning a guy saying he's smoking and drinking and we're getting rid of a guy who was sexually touched. And yo, let me make this clear because I've seen people come out and I've seen people say, yo, I don't know how to talk to a woman anymore because of all the sexual allegations that are coming out. Everything seems to be sexually harassing women. Yo, we not asking y'all, I'm a man, right? Yo, I understand the privileges that men have in this world. We get away with, a, we've gotten away with a lot of stuff for too long, including black men in regards to harassing women. We've got, we are disgusting. I was having a conversation with somebody the other day. We are, if you look at us in the grand scheme of things, we are really disgusting. And we're not asking people to be perfect human beings. I'm not perfect. We asking y'all to not to be trashy people and not touch women inappropriately and not call people racial slurs and, and, and definitely in the workplace. If you got to do that mess, do it behind the scenes. At least have the DC to not tell me what you think about me to my face in regards to race and you the owner of the team, you pay me. Yeah, what the hell is wrong with this world? What the hell is wrong with this country? Y'all people out here complaining, oh no, yeah, if we do this, then everybody's gonna be out of the game. Yeah, shit, everybody needs to be out of the game then. If y'all can't find ways to talk to women, you clowning, ugly, man, man, I swear that gets on my nerves. Anyways, there's a bright spot to this story. P. Diddy brought up, hey, I promise Colin Kaepernick, he doesn't know a lot about football. Let's make that clear. Diddy does not know a lot about football. I'm not taking up his for his football acumen. Uh, Diddy was like, yo, the North Carolina Panthers, they're just the Carolina Panthers, but they are they do play in North Carolina. Uh, he was like, yo, if I get the Panthers, I promise you Colin Kaepernick uh, will get a, 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 a fair spot at a starting job. I was like, damn, Diddy, you know they got a black quarterback already. You you know what I mean? We we can't get rid of one black quarterback to, to put in another one, and, and Colin Kaepernick is not better than Cam Newton. Come on, Diddy, damn. Anyways, he was trying to say, Colin Kaepernick, I'm going to give an opportunity. And Colin was like, yo, you talking about me playing. Yo, I want in the ownership ownership group. I want to own the Panthers with you. I want to put up some bread with you. Now, I ain't got your money, Diddy, but I'll help put up some bread with you. So I thought that was dope to see. And Steph Curry said, I want in. Steph Curry's from Carolina, if I'm not mistaken. Probably, I think he's from North Carolina. His dad, Dale Curry, I think they're from North Carolina. His dad played for the Charlotte Hornets at the bare minimum. I do know that. Um, so we will see what happens. I love when our black these black men come together and say, yo, we're going to put our bread up. That's the new wave and, and going forward. Yeah, we don't need y'all. We're going to put the bread up. Mr. Teller, Feral TV, thank y'all for the time, love, support. I do not take it for granted. Uh, Jay Richardson, uh, good riddance, you piece of crap. You know what? I changed my mind. I was about to end this video. I'm not done with his ass. Hell no. Y'all say I talk too much. For everybody who say I talk too much, y'all going to hate the ending of this video. Jay Richardson, so, so for, let me put some things in the context. I know everybody can't. Stick, to, stick around and listen to all the things that I listen to daily. This is my job to get you guys the facts. Here are some more facts. Do you guys know Jerry Richardson has settled out four sexual harassment allegations? And salute to Ryan Clark, my former co-worker when I used to work at ESPN. Ryan Clark said on video this morning, because he was he was in the NFLPA negotiations, he was, he was in the mix, right? He had to talk and negotiate with these owners. Ryan Clark said Jerry Richardson was one of those owners who when guys got around him, especially the players, he used the terminology boy. That was just common cold for him. This guy, Jerry Richardson, stepped down to sell the team that he owned 48% of, not because he feels bad about calling women out of the name or, or touching them inappropriately. Not because he feels bad about the racial slurs that he used in, in context and talking to different players. It wasn't about that. He's upset the day that he got caught. I don't know if a lot of you guys know this, if not for the Sports Illustrated story that did come out about him the other day, about Jerry Richardson and just why he was stepping down because he came out of nowhere. If not for, the, for that story coming out, 
he would have stepped down and nobody would have knew any anything of it now we could put a 25 year old athlete in the arms of the media to crucify him if we could put a 23 year old rapper in the arms of the media to crucify him if we could put an 18 year old ball player a basketball player in the in the arms of the media to crucify him this white owner that i found out his age is 81 years old somebody's telling me with this owner you don't get to to run away without any scrutiny and that's what he's doing right now he's running away he's selling that damn team to get the hell out of dodge because he don't want to face the problems that he got this is the shit we talking about, man. This is the shit from bastards and bitches like this that we talking about. Excuse my terminology, excuse my language, but I, I gotta just, it, you gotta know how passionate I am about these things. Because these people, and by the way, Jerry Richardson was very against the NFL players protesting. You, these people, they say, yo, no, yeah, we, you guys, y'all work for us. Y'all don't need to be protesting. What, what the hell are you protesting for? You got it good. We pay y'all millions of dollars. No. They, they deserve more than that. They, de they deserve better benefits, better guaranteed contracts. They're, they're, the league is built on their backs, not the owners. It's built on their backs, not the owners. Hell, I'd be ready to give GMs and coaches more credit than I give you owners. Y'all don't do shit. Y'all just put up y'all bread. Man, get the hell out of here, man. This this whole, I'm telling you, Jerry Richardson was one of those owners that we needed to get rid of. One of those old man mentalities that and they, they're so ready to try to get rid of young black people who are protesting the anthem that they're forgetting about the shit and look what happens when you catch one of them in, in this bullshit he is not mad about the sexual assault and the harassment that man is stepping down because he didn't want to face his demons in the mirror and and have this team go through that because of what he did he didn't want to face himself so he's sitting his ass down and stepping out, selling the team. He's going to make a lot of money off that, by the way. So it ain't a whole L for him, just like Donald Sterling. But he's a piece of crap to the fullest. Let's make that clear. 100K, we on the way. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.